while I was in Tallahassee, Pete pulled off the carburetor and he uh, found this. Well, I cleaned it and the only thing I found wrong with it that I could tell is that little o-ring up there was really kind of messed up. So I went to take it off to put a new one on and it just broke so easy. So I, I think it had a little, a little slice in it, maybe enough to let a little air in. Oh, which would probably let air in and make it run a little, miss a little when it did. And which one is that, the small needle this though? This is the fuel adjustment. Anyways, so I thought that was pretty interesting this morning. <laughs> hey, update everyone about what's going on. Number one, we can't find Kitty. I looked around the wood shop, I didn't see him anywhere. So maybe he f started feeling better. Maybe he was sick. I'm gonna kind of look in that back corner. I don't know if he had uh, maybe walked back there. Hopefully he didn't die. Um, I called a lady who was with a, uh, a no-kill animal shelter. Um, but she didn't come by the day before, so she must have been pretty busy. Um, anyways, maybe he feels better now. What else happened? Oh! Nice, Pete! I had a fan that um, wanted to get a book and a CD, so I'm going to ride to the post office and deliver that. Never go anywhere. Well, now that we know the truck's a runner, Time to take the doors off. That's the next step in all this. Uh, we were going to leave the doors on, but Pete decided he should probably take it off because he saw some pretty good rust to repair. So we spray painted where they go. Not that that's going to matter because when we actually paint the truck, it's going to go away, but whatever. <laughs> These come out, but then there's those way back in there that need to be undone too. Hmm. Say again what you just said. Question mark. <laughs> Why? Because you never know if it's going to run or not. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, and you ran the fuel back behind? I always did. Oh. I'm not sure if I like it now or not. Is that as far as that stupid thing goes? Alright, so we adjusted the valves on the bus, put the new cork gasket where the valve cover is, uh, adjusted the, um, did the carburetor, got a new choke for it, put the, um, the little solenoid or whatever that is for the, when you shut the bus off so it doesn't back, go brrr when you shut it off, put that thing on. Um, so hopefully maybe we don't have that hiccup anymore. We'll find out. Maybe you need the key on. Flood it. Ah. <gasps> I did the same thing that guy did. I forgot to put the. Is that will that fuck it up? No. Are you sure? Yeah. It's just oh. not getting any spark. Oh my goodness! See, I told you to double check. I, I told it. you. No, you it's didn't. Just a little bit of a hurry. I told you. I'll probably need to do that anyway to get some fuel. Watch out for fire. I told him to double check. He's like, no, I'm gonna start it. adjusting the carburetor a little. You know, I think I might even have the choke on right because it's open now. See that? Nice. It's open. And it was it was closed. It might have been closed too much. I'm going to have to turn it just a little. Nice, Pete. All right. Yay.